before before I do the intro. Chris, why have you got a peg on your your glasses? Uh, it's, uh, thanks for noticing, mate. It's a conversation starter. Oh, so I told you about this the other night, didn't I? Yeah, no, and that's why I'm using <laughs> and did, it. Right and now. did it work? Yeah. So, so how does it work? How does it work now? Use it on me right this second. Well, like, you're, oh, well, you've already addressed yeah, it, haven't so you? So where's the why is there a peg on? You? Excuse me, sir. Why is there a peg on your glasses? I don't need to. You, you've demonstrated it perfectly. That's that's all it is. Yeah, but how does he carry on the conversation? Well, after you, you just have a chat there, like, oh, you like pegs. <laughs> <laughs> Do you peg? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it you don't, does work. You don't yeah. say that, but it does work. We've seen it work live, mate. Yeah, we have, to be fair. Do you like I don't pegs? think people get the irony of like coming over to you and going, why have you got a peg on your glasses? And you go, it's a conversation star. Like, no one gets the joke. Yeah, because it's, it's, like, like, it's, it's, like, like a... it's like a bird feeder, mate. They come over. Anyone. Oh, brings them all Men, over. women, <laughs> anyone. Anyone. It's a conversation star for anyone. So, that is Chris. And that is the tips from Chris, the all-star Riz. <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of already? Do you know um, uh, Beach Hut 1 and Beach Hut 2 were right next to the toilet, weren't they? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so we're going to get that. We're getting to that. One of our favourite things to do was to stand in, in the toilet listening to people in the Beach Hut. And you are hilarious <laughs> in the Beach Hut because you scream. You shout so loud. And oh, I literally so didn't even need to be in the toilet to it. hear you. It like echoes down the hall every time you do it. And obviously, bearing in mind, everything you're talking about in the beach shot is meant to be like confidential. No one else yeah, is meant to hear Exactly. You. I had an idea of everything that was going on with you every time I went for a wee. They soundproofed it after that day when you came in. You're like, you are very confident in the beach shot. <laughs> I went into it the next day and it was soundproofed up. It's like confident, everywhere. Riz. But you can still hear it. It's <laughs> a pa- paper thin walls. Waffle thin. Welcome back to another episode of Fancy a Chat. Make sure you're supporting the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music. Also, hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all of the episodes. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Fancy a Chat. And today, I've got the master of Riz, all star Riz. His name's called Chris. But we call him Chris, Chris Taylor. Let's no, go. No one's ever <laughs> called me that. Still now, no one ever. I wish people did call me that, but no one actually does. Chris. Just, just you. Yeah, just, I know. Just hey. you. But it's going to catch on after I've asked this. my parents to start calling me it, but it's not catching on. After this, everyone's going to start calling you Chris. Okay, Chris, how, how, how are you doing, bro? How are you being? I'm very well, thank you, mate. Yeah, so you'd have a day anyway, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, we saw each other a few times now, haven't we? So yeah. it's a bit of a redundant question, but I'll answer it anyway <laughs> for the for the cameras. Uh, yeah, very well, mate. Turbulent time, isn't it, coming out? Yeah, how are you finding coming out? Like, how are you finding it all? Uh, it's weird, isn't it? Because, mm-hmm. like, you get very used to being surrounded by a lot of people. Yeah. I'm not really, like, I'm quite an introvert, right? It's you smirking, are smirking, but you actually, are. I actually, no, you are. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah, so I need to be on my own a bit. But then I got really used to being around so many people that now when you come back, you sat at home watching Queer Eye on your own. You're just like, <laughs> this is quite sad now. It's just weird. I just feel weird. <laughs> but I think like everyone feels like it a little bit. How about sleeping? A lot of people said they have problems sleeping. Like, oh, because I used to sleep with like ten people in a room. Not weird, but yeah, now it's giving a human centipede vibes. <laughs> now it's like you by yourself in a room, and it's like, oh, oh, that never bothered me actually. Yeah, why that bothered you? No, no, I just a lot of people were saying it to me. I was like, it don't bother me, I can sleep by myself easy. It bothered me sleeping in the room with 10 people in the first How place. How was it? Oh, no, it didn't bother me, either, yeah, mate. Honest. First two nights, I couldn't sleep. Oh, god, not, not a wink. Oh, damn, yeah, and that was worse than the first time round when I, I had the first night I couldn't sleep. This oh, yeah. time it was two nights. Oh gosh! So I was so proper. But next I'm, time's gonna be three nights. Yeah, I ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't doing There's it no again. way. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> but um, I reckon that's how they get you. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, do you know, like, do, like doing trust the process and yeah. like, play the game and all that kind of stuff. I reckon they they do that to your sleep. They know that no one can sleep in a room with twelve people. It's mental. It's like it's insane. So that's how it like yeah. you start breaking down. So like day one, you've got your wits about you. <laughs> day two, you've had no sleep. So, so you just start doing things that like you you're not thinking about. You just you just you just end up doing, and I don't think that's the, the greatest thing in that particular position <laughs> with millions of people watching. Yeah. You're tired. Yeah. You're exha- exhausted. Exhausted. Let's not say tired. Exhausted. Drained. Yeah, drained. But like day two, drained. Day two. Day, like day two. Typically, it didn't hit me till like the week. I oh, know. I lied. Five days, yeah. and then I was gone. It's like the week itch, isn't it? Yeah. People get the week itch because people people start trying to leave after a week. <laughs> 
<laughs> Some people was leaving after three days, so well, yeah. But obviously, after Jake left, they weren't letting anyone else walk out like that. So no chance. Jake going nowhere. The amount of conversations I had to have with people, where I was like, "Come on, like it's only been a week. It's absolutely fine. We're gonna get through this together." Yeah, honestly. And then they'd they'd be fine, and they'd carry it on. But there was a lot of bitch bits going on. It there? was like that at the start. Everyone was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Yeah. And then I think it hit one point that, that week itch, and then yeah. boom, seven days. Five people just said, "Oh yeah, yeah, it's time I, to go." I want to leave. I want to leave. I'm like, "Well, why did you come in here then? <laughs> like, you've not achieved anything yeah. yet." Oh yeah. yeah, I've got I've got to mention by the way that I have for some reason my my nose is just dripping like a broken fridge out of nowhere. Yeah, it will just. just it will just start dripping. <laughs> so, so I've literally more tissue I've spent, no, I've got enough. I've spent the last few days literally just walking around like this. So it's not. It's you not can fit. do the podcast like that if you really want to. If you I really want to, I don't. Oh, okay, fair enough. But just so you know, if my nose stops starts dripping out of nowhere, you know what's going on. Chris, season five, Love mm. Island, mate. Yeah. Let's take it all the way back there. Back to all the, old the way school. back there because that was years ago. Yeah, four, years four and a half years ago. Four and a half years And I was old ago. then. Four and I was, 20, I was 28 ago. then. You was, a, you was a big bombshell in that, in that, what's it called? In that season. Do you think? Recognize, recognizable, yeah, 100%. It's the like, quiff, isn't it? It can't, is. Can't it get is. away from the it quiff. Is. How did you find that time? Like, how was like, speak to us like, before you went in that time, like, what was like, your preparation? What was, why did you go on? First That's time, a lot yeah. of questions, Toby. Deep. Um, Preparation was uh, was minimal. I was on a I was on a healthy bulk, <laughs> which, which with my healthy body bulk. just doesn't work because I just came out like pure string beans still mm. lean. But yeah, like, you're very I, lean. You've got no a lean build. That's just my natural yeah. That's what I'm saying. Metabolism. That's yeah. just what I default to. Um, other than that, that, that was the only uh, prep that I did. The reason I did it is because they approached me about it. I got a message yeah. from Tara Scotter. Oh, um, wow. back in the day. Okay. Um, works on other shows now. And she went to school with uh, one of the girls that I worked with when I went to uni in Leeds. Used to work in Gatecrasher with her. Um, and for some reason, this girl recommended that she get Tara Scott get in touch with me. Wow. So she what? So she met that girl and she's like, you know what? Who would be good on that show? Chris Taylor. Yeah. Bang, from, let me uh, give you his gram. Uh, but, but yeah, I like, and I hadn't, kn- I hadn't like seen her for a yeah. good few years. So you and a weird the... universe thing. Like we like fancied each other, but we never, we never had sex. So I think if I'd have had sex with her back in the day, this girl, I think she would not have been inclined to recommend me, and I would have therefore Why? never have got the message. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> just, just realised how bad that is. You might you have to... you just said. No, because. <laughs> If I had sex, the feelings would have been there. Yeah. Say if oh, yeah. I had okay. sex with her, right, and it hadn't worked out. Yeah. She would have been quite like, yeah. like annoyed not at you. vengeful, but like <laughs> kind of like a bit annoyed at me. Yeah. And would like, oh yeah, I'm not going to recommend like the guy I was with. Do you know what I mean? True. You're not going to re- recommend the guy you was with. Yeah. If we'd that have ever sense. actually yeah. done stuff like that. Oh, so, so hey, it's like universe. one of those ones that like in the moment you're like, oh, why is it not happening? And then ten years down the line, it's like boom. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. Um, reason what's it the, the whole butterfly effect yeah the butterfly That's in nice. hawaii can start a tornado in wherever exactly uk so how did you find like so you got the message bang mm. and then you was like yeah uh, me well to be fair no. me love island i don't know i'd watched it for two seasons right and i'd really mm. enjoyed watching it and i had this thing where i couldn't sleep after watching it because I'd lay awake just imagining myself in different <laughs> scenarios. <laughs> like if I was on it. <laughs> I did that for mate, but uncontrollably. This wasn't a decision that I was making. Like this is this is genuinely what I I couldn't sleep for it. So you so so you you watched the see you watched the episode of Love Island, what okay, cool, let's say season four, you watched um who is it? Uh, Amber and Kem. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Amber and that Kem. was season three. Yeah, right. season three. Yeah. Sorry, Amber and Kem. So I watched, so you watched the Amber it. and Kem season. And you're like, oh, And then like, I watched the Danny situation. Dyer and uh, Jack Fincham season. Yeah. And every night, after after every single episode, I would not be able to sleep for like an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> just imagining myself. So I genuinely think like... Like, to the five bit? All that kind of stuff. Just like people saying stuff to me and how I'd react to it. Like I couldn't control it in my brain. I couldn't stop it from happening. And I think I manifested it. Yeah, because I think then it came thing. to me. Yeah. I know I never like applied for it. It came. It came to me. It knocked on my door. And now you can watch episodes and not even 
think about what you're going to do in that situation because you've already done it. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't really like watching it since, to be honest. It kind of ruins <laughs> the magic, ruined, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, true. I get you. It ruins the magic. Like, once you've done it, it's like you can't really watch it anymore. Yeah, it's, it's like, not. It's not. I have to because I'm on, under the duvet. Now, yeah. But it's, it's just not the same, mate. The, ma- the magic's gone. <laughs> so watching Harry Potter with no special effects. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Nothing coming out. People pointing just... wands and nothing happening, yeah. So after that, what was like um, when you went into the villa, mm. how did you find that, like the whole build up? Like you just flown out, you're like, oh my gosh, like when did you find out? Like oh. all of that whole mess. Because oh, right. everyone's is different, you know? Yeah, no, mine was an actual mess as well. Is it? It was an actual mess. So I flew out so I flew out day seven well, season of my five. season. Yeah. Bearing in mind, I didn't go into week five. So here's, this is the story, right? So I flew out what? day seven, woke up day eight, went to production, the, the, yeah. where all the big crates are and everything happens. Yeah. They gave me some chicken. I, oh. ate, I ate the chicken. Okay. Max Keynes gave me the chicken, right? I ate okay. the chicken, woke nice. up the next day, I sharted. Oh, right? Sh- oh I did literally shit. I, went, <laughs> I thought it was safe and it wasn't, right? So wait in your like bed? In, yeah, not on the bed. Like, okay, in, like oh, in, in my yeah pants. This is <laughs> this is the worst story. It's actually really embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, they were like they wanted me to go in the next day. They took my temperature and they were like, oh, oh, you going to the next day? Yeah, I was I was meant to go in like day eight, day nine of season oh, five, right? But I had a fever because of the, the chicken and the shot, whatever it was, right? So like, and this kept happening. This like happened for like five days. They kept taking my temperature. They're like, oh no, you're not well enough yet. We don't want you to go in and, and spread something if yeah. you've got it. Because you can't, thing, right? you can't go in. If no, you, no, yeah. you can't. If you've got, if you've got anything wrong with it, you can't go in. Day six, I'm ready. Okay. I'm at production. I've got my outfit on. I'm khaki my pants, right? Yeah. I'm like, quivering like a leaf so this is day six of you being in that in mallorca in in lockdown before yeah, going okay, in cool. right? so that's like day 13 ish of the show yeah yeah okay, yeah cool. yeah this is a bombshell coming up by the way so so then both of the execs come in it was mike and lewis that yeah. came in they both look really sad oh they, that's not they, what you they didn't see. look happy like i'm about to go into the villa they both look really sad they were like listen chris we've got a chat to you oh no we can't put you in why <laughs> so Basically, what I've got like anxiety, right? And I have, uh, well, I used to. I don't have them anymore, but I used to have anti-anxiety medication, like beta blockers. Yeah. Um, and I told them this in the in the psych interview and stuff yeah. like that. And they were like, "How many? How many do you take?" I told them, and then I bought out enough my prescription, which was free a day. I never mm. took free a day, but my prescription was free a day, free right? Day, yeah. So I bought enough out for like the rest of the time that I was there. They looked at this big like bag of medication. And they were like, that's way more than what you've told us that you take. Oh. And I was like, yeah, but like my prescription is three a day. Like yeah. I just choose not to take it because I don't need it. Because normally one sorts me out in particular scenarios. I'm going to need it when I'm anxious. And I imagine I'm going to be anxious because I'm on TV. Right? Yeah. So really, yeah. So you're yeah. just prepared for the worst case Yeah, scenario. for the worst case scenario. Yeah. I probably would have had like one a couple of yeah. times or, or whatever yeah. it is, right? But uh, obviously ITV, duty of care... They had to send me home. They had to send you home. Yeah, so this is, is that what like, they said? They, we have to send you home. They, like, they have to send you home. So this is like, by this point, it's week two. And then I had to do a psych uh, review every week for three weeks. So that puts us on week five. And then at the end of that, Sandra, <clears throat> the big, the big, psych, the main yeah. psych, the one that can look into your soul, um, <laughs> she, she, she does an assessment and she makes a decision on whether you go in the villa or not, yeah. right? So I've done all the stuff and I've gone to this final assessment thing. The meeting's gone terribly wrong, like really bad. She's convinced me of things that like, <laughs> I, like never even happened. Like, Because we're obviously asking about your history <laughs> and stuff you've done in your life and all that yeah. kind of stuff. And it just, it, it, the prognosis was bad. It didn't, it didn't look very good, right? So I left and I got in the taxi mm. and then Sandra ran out of the, uh, out of the, 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 office, the, the office, knocked on the window of the taxi, was like, get out of the car. So I got out of the car and I'm like... What was you thinking there? Like? I was like, well, I thought it was over. I was like, I'm not yeah. going on the show. It's just, what, for whatever reason, it's not happening. Fine. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I was a bit upset about it. Um, <laughs> she comes out and, and basically says, I don't know what it is. I've got a feeling about you. I'm going to sign you off. Oh. So she signed me off. Yeah. And then literally I was driving 
home to Leicester about two days later and they ring me and they're like, Chris, we want you in now, basically tomorrow. Yeah. So we're wow. going to fly you out later tonight and then and then we're going to put you straight in the villa. So at this point, it's week five and a half when I should have been in day eight. So was you watching that, that whole time thinking, oh man, that would have, like you lying in bed doing the scenarios in your head? Thinking- yes, yeah, still, <laughs> still doing the scenarios, yeah. <laughs> oh, but oh. Um, it, was a, it was a really, uh, it was a difficult three weeks. Yeah. Because I was like, I'd quit my job. I oh, fully yeah. like oh, I, had, yeah, I had like a, a secure job in sales, like you was, you was flying earning out. decent money. Yeah. And that. I fully quit it. Yeah, three, wow. like three weeks before the show started to finish off my <laughs> my bulk, my skinny bulk. Um, so there was a lot on the line, yeah. type thing. And uh, yeah, well, I thought bloody hell, I've absolutely fucked that right up. Um, so you just like oh, everything happened for a reason, though. Nah, eh? it does happen for a reason. Yeah, and then actually, I spoke to Sandra. Uh, this time round, yeah, and I asked her why, like, what happened, like, why, why did you run out? Yeah, and she goes to me. Uh, she said, I, "I, I just had a feeling, and I've never done that in my career on any other occasion with anyone. Wow, so I'm the single person that she's she's ever changed. She's only ever changed her mind on, which I'm that, taking as a win. That Chris Taylor effect. The Chris, Chris Taylor. Chris, <laughs> the Chris, the Chris. So you're not safe." You're not no safe. one's safe. So um, that was um. So you flew out that night. You you know you're going in that morning. So then you what you you're ready. I went I went in that evening. I think yeah. I went in that evening. That evening. Yeah, so you got flat. ready and you was like okay cool. Yeah, I was still cacking my pants. Yeah, yeah. Still you're like, absolutely finally, you know, like finally. I don't know. It's kind of like hard like, to oh. feel relief when you're so scared. <laughs> True. It's so, it's so daunting, isn't it? It's like a, I feel like it's kind of like a weird um feeling i don't think it's like a feeling i've ever experienced before no personally no like walking in i've and never moved, had that it moves your um the, the the your comfort zone so far yeah that it's quite hard to like get that level of excitement again does that make sense i that's exactly what i was gonna say i feel like it pushes yeah it pushes you your adrenaline and how you feel so far one way that you can never really get that feeling again. It's like chasing the high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's chasing the high. It's like, like that. It's like the sweet, sweet her on. Yeah. Like the first time you do it, great. I don't yeah. know this from experience. I've never touched the brown, but um, <laughs> but they say you are chasing the dragon forever, isn't it? Yeah. So I feel like you're chasing the Love Island dragon. Chasing the That's Love Island dragon. Times. That's why. <laughs> You're an addict, mate. <laughs> yeah, you need rehab. I'm a Love Island addict. You need Love Island rehab, bro. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Sorry, sorry, guys. I'm not. I'm not. So when you walked in, I was so after the whole feeling of that. Well, when you was in there, we were like, oh, what was like, what's the vibe for you? Um, because every people, everyone has like a different kind of vibe when they come in. Are they like some people like struggle to get in? Some people struggle to like get involved. Some people are like, oh, I was sweet as soon as I walked in. I was sweet. Mm. What was your kind of vibe walking in? It, walking in, it was, it just felt a little bit, it felt a bit clicky. Obviously it is. Yeah, of course you got going first. in week five. Yeah, week, yeah, week five and a half. Five and a half, like, yeah. Yeah, people are, people are mates by that point. They've got alliances <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Um, but that like broke down pretty quick. I don't feel like, I, I didn't really struggle to get like amongst it. Mm. I don't like, my, my character's not really that type of sit on the outside of no. it anyway. Um, that was that was fine. I struggled heavily with the girl side of things. I will say, it was just like really hard. Like when you go in that late in the game, I don't yeah, want to yeah, blame it on so, this, but it's yeah, really but, hard. No, but to, I think to get it actually is, turn the head. I think it actually like it, if everyone knows it as well. Yeah, like people have a five week like solidified connection, yeah, yeah. and you're coming in, and you and that person might be brilliant together, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you really and truly can't do anything there because... There's nothing you can do. No. They're not going to take a risk on Chris Taylor. No. Week five and a half. Yeah. Rather than... I've got no public credits by that point. Do you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? There's no there's no public support. <laughs> they don't know this you. weird guy with the quiff that's just walked yeah, in. Yeah, just like... But on the, on the, the first night, no, mm. the, 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 within the first 24 hours... Yeah. I had to do the strip, te- strip tease challenge. I'm even stuttering on my words. It was that terrifying. That, I didn't even know anyone, bro. Yes, yeah, so that's a hard thing to do. I had to grind no. on girls. I didn't even mm. know them. Some people say it's easier. Because you don't know them, you have nothing to really lo- like lose. But some people say it's harder because you don't know the people. But it's, it depends also, how you take it. Beca- yeah, it because, how you take it. because you don't know them, you don't know what you can, you can. do. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? But... 
So it's like, <laughs> but that gives you sorry, sorry. <laughs> touch a knee. You know what I mean? But that gives you that gives you grace because you don't know what you can do. So it's like, oh, sorry, I didn't know. You. Yeah, but it's quite easy to go too far with that. That's oh, the problem, no. isn't it? <laughs> you still need to be comfortable. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like it is. It depends how you how you look at it. You can either like like it or not. Like it's like mm. the heart rate challenge. Like some people this season was like, oh. no, it, that what it was the heart rate challenge. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. What I'm saying. So, oh yeah. Some people are like, oh, it's hard because we've been there so long and I know this person, so I can't. Oh, yeah, no, I, I get what you're yeah. saying. I can't I've never that seen it from that uh, side. I'm like, yeah. I've only seen it from, like, just coming in. Like, I know you as a mate now, so yeah. now me, like, grinding on you is a bit weird. So. Yeah, like, I couldn't have grinded on Georgia Steel. Would have been funny. No, but I couldn't have, Yeah, mate. that's what I'm saying. Like, so first of all, like, like, you're my friend. And second of all... You're my girlfriend. <laughs> you're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> and, and second of all, like, she was, li- like... My little sister. Yeah, see, that's I what I'm saying. Done it. Things like that. It's I'd like... have had to just like stroke her face <laughs> and walk off. Do you know what I mean? Like something, something weird. Natural long hair. Yeah, natural brown <laughs> long brown. On, on the All Stars. Bless her. How did you? How did you? Um, f- how did you think this was gonna go? <laughs> like All Stars. Because how, how do you think it was gonna go? Like everyone has their opinions on All Stars. Like before, mm. like oh, this big All Star series. Like this person's gonna be casted. This person's gonna be casted. What was your thoughts when they first said, ah, oh, Chris Taylor, we're bringing All-Stars back. Well, we're not, bring, we're not bringing All-Stars, but we're bringing All-Stars. <sighs> what was your thoughts? Uh, I don't know. It's, like, it's almost like, do you know when two big guys try and get through the same door at the same time and they can't get through because they're, they're too big for the door frame? So yeah. do you only have loads of thoughts at once and yeah. you almost have no thoughts because yeah. of it? There's it like too much going on. And it's like, oh, like, you just have to go with it. Yeah, I'll tell you what my initial thought was. I was like, I can't see how they're going to make this good. Is that, is that what yeah, you're thinking? Yeah, because I was like, who is a, like who is actually available? Like, that's not in that. a relationship. Because yeah. a lot of the people that you would consider to be like all stars are in relationships. Yeah, like yeah big, I agree. Like the big, big, big people. Yeah. And also, they're not going to do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, are we literally going to be looking at just a load of Catherine and more people here? Like that was my, was initial, that my well. initial thought, and I was like, "Fuck it!" I was like, "When, when I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, get them Casa girls in." <laughs> Not even like that. I was just thinking, like, when they came to me, I was like, "You know what?" Like, twenty four January, not really doing much. It's kind of cold. I'm single. Guess it's South Africa. Yeah, no, that's that's, that's, absolutely absolutely that's how I took it. I think that did factor into my uh, thinking as well. Like, I was like, what am I doing in January, February? Yeah. Anyway, nothing happens in January, February. It's just sad. You just finished Christmas and I, now everyone's, the I whole just, country's sad. Literally. I just wake up every morning and get those um, sad lamps out either side of my face. That's all I do because I have seasonal affective disorder. So I was like, mm-hmm. I may as well go to South Africa. Exactly. But I did I did say no quite a Is lot it? at first. Yeah. So what what made you like flip? They, they talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> no they literally like I was saying oh, I don't want to do it like yeah. I'm doing some acting stuff I want to do more of that I don't know if this is going to yeah, you did Barbie did Barbie I did a, I Barbie. did a couple of other bits as well um, and I was just like I don't know if this is ever going to it's not going to help is it it's not going to help the situation uh, going, just being it's going to kill it that's the thing like with like everyone's careers and that like when you look at like all stars mm. like that's the debate you have like is it going to help it or is it going to like make it worse I don't think it can make it worse though can it no like, would it, really make the, it worse the, no well I don't know I don't know it's yet to be seen isn't it no, but I, the, the logic that I used was I would never have got on the Barbie film had I have not gone on Love Island the first time exactly so it's kind of like we'll see what happens Barbie 2 Barbie 2 <laughs> uh, probably not I don't know if they'll have me back um, <laughs> took me literally five hours to get a single line out properly Oh, is it? Did, oh, is it? Did about fifty-seven takes. <laughs> what were you getting the line wrong? I, wasn't, I never got it wrong. On one time, I got it wrong, <laughs> but that was only because they said that a camera was going to come in front of me, and it didn't. And it was like a camera that was like six miles away that I was never even going to see. <laughs> and uh, I think Margot Robbie's husband Tom was just like, "Yeah, don't worry, mate. Like it's it's over there. You're not going to see it." But anyway, um, <laughs> it just took me. It took a lot. Of, it took me like four hours of filming. And then when you saw the one, was you like, "Yeah, that's the one." What? When you did the one, the, the line, the perfect one that hit the, hit the screens, was you like, that's the one? I don't, I don't know. They got me to do it in so many different ways. Oh. So many different in, like um, in, inclinations. So many different voices. Oh, yeah. Like, all different sorts. like vibes. On so it. I had no idea what was, what was going to go into oh, it. So you didn't even know which one was the one. No. I'll be honest, none of them felt right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
don't know what you're doing in that scenario, do you? Like, mate, I'd walked into into a studio in Watford. Ryan Gosling's there. Margot Robbie's there. Like, all this massive yeah. set. There's loads of extras. There's so much going on. It was a pure, like, it's sensory unreal. overload. It was just like... You should have put a GoPro on your head. Oh, yeah. Just for the whole day. on camera. <laughs> oh, day. Just seems Looking just... like Francis... Francis <laughs> Bourgeois. Bour- 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 Doesn't go with the trains, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a lot. It was a, it was an emotional roller coaster. Mm. So, um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was gonna go into like your predictions of who did you think was gonna go into the villa. Mm. Mm. Ah, that's a good question. Mm. Actually, I don't even know if I remember who I thought was gonna go in. There was loads of stuff in the press, wasn't there? That's what I'm saying. There was bears. I was thinking, oh my god, this person, this person, this person. I was thinking, no. I thought Theo Everyone was gonna in the world. be in. Theo Johnson. There was some something happened there. I yeah, because he when we came out, people were saying like stuff that he was supposed to be in the starting lineup or something. Like that. Yeah, I think he was, and uh, he uploaded <laughs> when he did uh, pictures and press day. He uploaded a, a video of himself getting makeup done. Yeah, I remember. It's like, mate, yeah. you've literally just told the whole of the UK what you're doing. <laughs> like, you can't do that. It's meant, it's meant that. to be a secret. I saw that. I was in that day as well, yeah. so I saw it on like one of them. You know, when they clip it. Mm. And they put it on TikTok. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm literally in that room now. Yeah. Uh, well, I seen it the day before I went and I was like, right, I'm going to look at the background. And then when I got there the next day, I was like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this yeah. is the same guy Going in. Um, so I, I thought, I there, thought he'd be in there and I thought that will be fun because he's he's a maniac. Yeah. Uh, in a good way. Like, yeah. Funny guy. Um, funny guy. Um, who else did I think was going in? Uh, I can't even remember who was in the press. I think every single love hand was in the press. Every yeah, single love. They were shouting, every, they were shouting in madness it. in the press. There as well. was madness. There was yeah. like things that just aren't going to happen. <laughs> yeah. It was, like, was, oh, was Tommy Fiore going in? Like, no, he's <laughs> not. And then it's like, of course he's not. Um, and then it was like, Mac, they were saying Mac was You going live with in. Mac as well. So it's like, Mac. you're just sitting there. Like, oh, I was like, Mac, are, are you going, going on Love Island? He was like, <laughs> seeing the press. No. Yeah. There's like there's loads of that. They just, to be fair though, for all the ones they got wrong, they did get a few right. Yeah, they did. To be fair, but yeah. I got. I don't think I was predicted to go in, but I think I got leaked before I left the UK. Also, before I got on the plane, I got leaked. So I, I still have my phone with me when you got when leaked. I got leaked. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see your leak. Your leakage. Daily Mail. I Bastards. didn't have a clue who was going to go in like that. I I what, thought you had no idea. What who was going in? Yeah. I had some clues with some people. Did you think I was going in? I didn't know you was going in. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know you was going oh, in. really? I didn't have a clue. Who did you think was going in? Who did I know I was going in? Yeah, or think. Well, I was thinking... Kaz and Lib, I was thinking, yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, I thought... Um, who else? Oh. I was told Megan Barton Hansen was going in. From a reliable source. And I, I knew Hannah Elizabeth was going in. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, didn't got, know that. I got told that by somebody. And then there was somebody else... I think somebody said Katie McDermott was going in. I heard about that. I heard about so... That's what I'm saying. There's so many people that got... Yeah. Yeah, I'm going in. There's a lot of people that were out there that didn't go in. True. Very true. A lot of people were out there. I'm pretty sure Danica was out there. I had her sunglasses. You had her sunglasses? Yeah. What do you mean? She was... I said this on Kaz Kaz, literally the other day. She came on to... Basically, she came to here. yeah? Yeah. We had a chat. Yeah. And then she left her sunglasses here. Oh, right. So she was like, oh... Can you bring him to South Africa? <laughs> it's not obvious. Well, and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll bring him. And I had them the whole time I was in there. Oh, really? From day one to the end. Oh, that's cute. And she'd not come in. Just looking after him. So I still got the sunglasses. So you could be like, here you go. Yeah, when he's coming in, I was going to say, look here you go. I was going to say, here you go. Yeah. Like, we're in there now, so you can't stop it. Yeah, because like, yeah. she, she went quiet on socials, didn't she? And then she came back on and she was like, oh, I've just been doing a health <laughs> retreat. Yeah. So yeah, of course. Yes, it gets, it gets like that. Because to be fair, you have been doing a health retreat in South Africa for two months. That's the thing. Oh, that's mad, isn't it? Oh. oh mate, I could not be I could not be in cast holding for two months. I was struggling I was struggling this time, cast yeah. holding. I was like, yo, Six like, days I before can't, I, I was like, yo, I can't. Like this is long. I, this is so long. I feel like I'm here forever. Yeah. In South Africa. And there's not, you're not allowed to do anything. Nothing. You can't do anything. I heard, I heard some people going to the beaches. Je- oh, uh, we were. I was on no, the beach. like the I good lived- beach. Oh, right. Oh, the, the tourist beach. beach. Like, oh, right. Where everyone goes. I had to go to the beach where you can't even walk because there's no... Sand blasted. No. Because of the wind. Not even sand. Oh. Fucking oh, sta- pebbles. Stones. Young beach. Going on your foot. It's a baby like beach, that. It's not quite turned into sand. Yet. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I was doing. I was walking on it. I was like, yeah, we can't even be here. Let's just go back home. Sat at home. Yeah, Jess and Eve went up Table Mountain the day they came in. Unreal. 
Unreal. We would what, like we, they would have not let us do that. I was in South Africa. Like the health and safety of that <laughs> is ridiculous. Didn't even didn't even see all the stuff. I didn't go to Penguin Beach. I didn't no, go on a I safari. Didn't go. I, was good. I didn't go to Table Mountain. Oh, we went to a safari. Yeah, you guys went to a safari. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Good, good I heard it was that. a bad safari. Though. It wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> the lads just moaned about it the whole time. It? It was, yeah, it was kind of funny, but oh, it was like the lions were like asleep. That's all you want to see in it. The uh, lions were just having a nap. Fair play. Right. In the middle of the day, it's hot. Don't blame them. I was jealous. Sleep. I was like, you guys are having so much fun on the outside. Let me just get there, please. It was pretty fun to be fair. I was like, let me get in a hotel with all the guys. Yeah, the, that seven, out. the seven days before we went back in and then back in for the live final um, were, Unreal. were lit. Unreal. They um they ref- they stopped. They basically refused to pay for any more booze for us, though. Oh, was you you guys smashing it up? We weren't having loads, but um we would have like a bottle of wine each. At, was it at, 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 at dinner? Fuck Bearing yeah. in mind, we've been on two glasses of wine yeah. a night, so we're absolute lightweights. So like a bottle of wine is levering us. Like really, I really honestly, bad. I honestly believe the reason they split the boys and girls up. Yeah. Yeah. Is honestly, I honestly believe because of what happened in the games. Well, there was just so game? much happening outside the villa. Yeah. That like. They want that for the cameras. Yeah, but I, like they let everyone go, but they're all in the same hotel. So they just kept them. Mayhem. Like, mayhem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mayhem. Well, it was mayhem, just the lads. That's what I'm saying. Imagine yeah, if the mayhem, girls were in the same the hotel. Like, if they'd emerged that, it'd have been. It'd just it'd been mayhem ridiculous. on mayhem with yeah. drink. I wish they had a drink. No, like, like, no, no, no. It would have been they so much fun. They can't have no chance. Because obviously they took our phones off us for quite a long period as saying. well. So it's just like, right. Just. I mean, we were just forced to interact, which was quite sick, to be fair. But so do you, drink. do you think you got like close to the people when you left? Because you was in like no cameras, chilling. Yeah, no, 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 I did. He's yeah, there's a few them, of the like, boys that you got, I got you to know. You ain't got coupling speeches and stuff as well. No, no we still did. <laughs> um, yeah, just for a laugh. Um, just we'd do a little speech every night to see oh. whose bed we'd stay in because we couldn't <laughs> sleep on our own at that point. Um, that's not true. Um, yeah, no, I got I got to know some of the boys a lot a lot better. I mean, some of them like Casey, for instance, mm. only in there for like I was only in there with him for like three days. Yeah, but he was in, he was in the holding villa anyway, so he weren't allowed to hang around with us that often anyway. Oh, but um, but yeah, you get to know people like, on a different level, in it. So yeah, it's, it's better, isn't it? Not, you get nice. actually like chat nice. them. It's about the cameras and yeah, that, and yeah. Actually, be it's like kind of more normal than obviously the villa in it, but it's obviously so, not normal. But it's like holiday. It's like a holiday, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a holiday. holiday. With the boy, we yeah. had a full blown holiday Literally. with the boys. Yeah, it was lit. It's it, was re- it was really cool. It was a lot of fun. But love and experience. Let's go back into it. Walking into the Love Island All Stars Villa day one. What was you thinking this time? Uh, well. I don't know. I was still cacking my pants. I don't think I'll ever not cack my pants. In <laughs> I that, feel like in it's easy this time. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a step back. Do you know what bothers me? It's the cringy stuff that they make you do on the way in, where you're like walking in with someone you like. <sighs> in slow-mo and that. Yeah, like... <laughs> um, and I'd say hello to Jake like I'd ever met him before. And like, Yo, do you know what I mean? Yo, bro, it's so good to see you. It's like, I've ne- literally never met you. Um... But yeah, no, that bit was fine. That, mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, do you know what made it easier? The fact that I walked in with Jake and Lib was already there. So I was just like, oh, <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. is interesting. It's not as on on me right yeah, now. Yeah, it's, not, like, it's <laughs> nothing to do with me at the minute. Like, it's about these two, which is great. So that diffused the tension mm. a little bit, which was nice. Um, but then we did... Uh, what was you? What did you feel like walking in day one? I was um, not that nervous. This time, not nervous at all. Walking in for yeah, go yeah, on in. Third time in a year, that's why. Yeah, not in a well, year. It's twice, a twice in a year. Yeah, but yeah, I was like, yeah, this is actually calm. Walking in for yeah, Lewis. I was with Lewis as well, so I was like, I'm not by Lewis myself. Found. But then, okay, cool. Spud walked in, and I was like, okay, thank God, we're not doing step forward straight away. That's what I was thinking as well. I, I was like, yeah. yeah, I thought that's what we would have been doing to be honest. Yeah, and I was thinking, who's gonna be in here? So I was eager to get out the door and see like. Who's... I was really happy with the way that it panned out. Like the the, the girls had to step forward for people and the boys didn't. Well, you had a good time, didn't you? I had a great okay, time. Hey, yeah, let's go into that then. Well, people keep asking me where it all went wrong, <laughs> and I and I heavily resent that comment. So it didn't go wrong. <laughs> would say you started too high. Yeah, no, I pe- fr- I peaked. You like, peaked day one. I, I was in there for <clears throat> an hour and I peaked. No, and you I, know never, what? No. I never achieved those highs again. No, I was just chasing you, the dragon you, for the rest of the time <laughs> I was there. You had highs. You had highs. You you kept it high for a long time. Mm. It was only at the end where it just started yeah, it was tailed, wobbling. Tailed off a bit. Wobbling. Yeah. But yeah, at the start, cool. Three girls stepped forward. Maya says, oh, girls pick. You had Kaz. 
Hannah. Georgia. Georgia Harrison. Georgia Harrison. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and then you looked to your left. You was like, "Is this a prank? You guys are pranking me." I remember felt, that. felt like a prank. I'm still not convinced it wasn't, to be <laughs> honest. Um, yeah, no, that was a great feeling. I'll be honest. Mm. Um, but I don't know. Like, it was also awkward. I, I, I don't know if you're like this, right? But if a girl shows me direct interest, I'm just like, no, <laughs> I, don't, I don't fancy it. I, I don't mean. know what it is. Like, it's I like a weird, like, it's bloke, like, like the chase. It's the like, chase. We like it's the, the chase. chase. I feel like everyone in the world likes to chase. I feel yeah. like that's the whole point. Girls like, like to chase as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but 100%. like to be fair, like the the system or Maya, whoever we're going to blame it on, um, <laughs> did them dirt. because yeah, in an ideal they world, know. they wouldn't have they wouldn't have had to express that so early on. Yeah. Oh. And I'm glad we didn't because I don't. I literally don't know what I'd have done. You stood next because you got like yeah. You can look at people and go, all right, yeah, you're I, f- I fancy you're you right, or whatever, yeah. but you just like. It doesn't, it doesn't mean, mean anything, anything, does it? Yeah, it? Like, yeah, I fancy you fine, but like, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to get on with you. You haven't even spoke to you yet. Yeah, no, literally. Yeah, there's no yeah. words been exchanged. Yeah. Maybe, maybe like 10 between all of us Honestly, at, that, at that point. And you've got to make that decision. So they did them dirty. But yeah, it was just the case for me. It was like, I don't know, like, they're all lovely people. I get on with them really well. But because they kind of said they fancy me, I was just like, oh. Yeah. It's like, bit, mm, it's, it sounds ungrateful, mm, right? That's not ungrateful. It's just that like, I like... I get what you mean. The, the chase. It's the chase. I think everyone likes to chase. Everyone likes chasing. And also, like, what are you doing on a, on, a, on a TV show if you're not doing the chase? Surely the chase is the point of being on there. Well, it's dating, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is dating. So you're just going to find... Really, truly, <sighs> no one stays with the f- <clears throat> first person they're with. On no, these kind of yeah. shows, like because you're dating. No, you and don't. The day, you're dating. Yeah. In the so, yeah. Exactly. And I think maybe that was at the back of my mind as well. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to. I don't know. I don't want to fall out with these girls. <laughs> like, I'd rather oh, yeah. just go. Let me but just... I actually didn't. I actually genuinely didn't have one chat with any of the three that queued up for me. You didn't. Yeah. Which is I quite. Agree. I don't yeah. know. Like in hindsight, was that bad? I don't know. I felt quite bad about it. My plan was to get around everyone, but then, just, but then the producers were like, "Chris, there's just not enough time for that." And this sounds ridiculous, but there actually isn't enough time. You for can't. It. Like, you I can't. think watching it, you the tendency to is to think that there's so much time in a day, but literally, you get up, you have the chat in bed, you do your debrief somewhere with the group of people that you're with that day. Mm. Uh, then you have lunch, which is not recorded. That's about two hours. Then you have the the middle bit of the day. Uh, the afternoon bit where you can you can fit probably two chats in maybe yeah give or take then you get then it's dinner then you get ready um you then back out again. then you'll back out again and you can maybe get a couple of chats in there depends on that night but it depends Dep- what's going you on might not even you get got a, chat a game going on you're not getting a chat that night and also like there was so much going on the first episode there was queues for cameras yeah, do you remember true, that? Yeah, choose for like, chats. Yeah, yeah, we choose for chats. Yeah, because we was meant to have a chat. Couldn't and, have it. And, and they said, "Oh, hold that chat. We're waiting for the cameras." And we had to, we were talking about cabbage for forty five minutes. Fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> but at night, you got you got um, Pilot put you together with Demi. Mm. Of all the girls, they put you with Demi. Yeah, Demi. I love Demi. She's a lovely girl. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know what I really... Ha- oh, no, I know exactly what happened with that, actually. <laughs> I kissed Molly. Yeah. So that kind of... Yeah. So Demi was there. I was getting to know Demi. Um, and then I think Molly came in. I got called up with Mo- And then Molly came in with Callum. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what. I just thought, Love Island, didn't it? Facts. Just do it. And you just did that whole two-minute stir thing. Oh, so and you know what happened? Talking about that, I hate, you know how much I hate talking about this. You know what happened with a two-minute stare? Oh, uh, well, I've been staring at you for quite a while now, mate, and there's no feelings of love <laughs> that are arising. I feel like there's love there. No, there's a lot of love. Um, I just uh, hate talking about it. It's so yeah. cringy. My, I think, who's it? I think my family went to me. That's quite cringy, that Chris. But then, <laughs> yeah, but then other people were like, "Oh, yeah, that's that was actually like a sick way to kiss someone." I was like, "Was it?" Yeah, I regret it now, but like the you context of it was oh, we were doing we, we were doing the facts, weren't we? Yeah. Me and me and uh, Molly were doing the facts. She loved it, um, so I just blasted it with a fact, and then it was quite embarrassing, really. You won an award for it. Oh yeah, fact. Oh yeah, no, I did. Yeah. So why would you regret it? You literally won the All Star Ritz Award for that for that moment. For that moment. And yeah. you want to you so you want that trophy to be given? To no, someone. no, I do. Is that what no. you want? 
I just wow. had mixed feelings about the way I did it. Do you know what it was? Because I put myself in such an awkward position because I, yeah. I was just staring at her. Yeah, I know. For literally well, about a up, minute though. and a half. You set that up though. Thinking, you, well, just kiss her. <laughs> you're going to have to kiss her. And I knew it wasn't the best idea anyway because obviously Callum was in there and I was like, oh, what? I, I was tired. I <laughs> was <laughs> <laughs> sleep deprived. I'm exhausted. That's, what, that's how they get you. That's how they get you. <laughs> but yeah, that, that whole thing was funny as hell though because I remember, oh, in fact, oh, that was just so funny and just so like out of the blue I didn't know you that was going to happen <laughs> you know but, you yeah. know how it gets you know how it gets in there but then you and Molly didn't work no no so I think at that stage she wanted to see how sort of like Callum reacted it was to very other, early. other girls coming in which it which was, was very fine early. It was um, re- yeah so that was the first pie of the season got it out of the way got it out of the way early doors isn't it Considering I had five or six last time, like I will. Does it count as a was it a pie? A pie? It was a pie. pie. She no longer wanted to continue speaking to me oh, in that exactly. way. So I just, well, oh, I don't know. Like it oh, just, it just, I don't even know. I can't even remember what happened. I think I, that's just, what I'm saying. I can't remember either. I don't we know. Just stop talking. Yeah, no, we actually didn't to... stop talking. Like we kept talking as like mates, but it just. I was just, just like, one of, that. To be fair, they do say after the first kiss, you kind of know if. You're gonna yeah, I'm a not. terrible so you, kisser. No, you just get it out of the way. Get it out of the way early doors. I think to be fair, like my timing was so bad on that. Like I literally, it was just, it was just way too soon. It was way too soon. Who um, knows? But we move, we move on. What happened after that? <laughs> and then what happened after that was for you, Arabella. Uh, Arabella yeah. Walked in. Arabella yeah. walked in because was it? Who was you? Oh yeah, no, she came. Demi. She, she was yeah, I was with Demi. She walked in on yeah. day seven, I think. She walked in and then she was having her chats and stuff. And then that's when you still couple up with Demi. Yeah, and yeah. And Luce yeah. coupled up with Kaz because yeah. remember they done the, the whole recoupling thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Arabella had to pick, and she picked you. Yeah. And Demi had to go home. Oh, Demi and Lewis went home. Yeah, oh, that yeah. was the day. Oh yeah. And then you had your date. Hmm. And we were rowing a boat. Yeah, we were on a rowing boat. <laughs> we boat. That's pretty lit, to be fair. Was it lit? Yeah, no. The, was, the, it, was it strained? Like, just yeah, no, it was knackering, mate. I couldn't do it either at first. And that, they put that in the unseen bit. It's like me like, trying to get, like, just flailing around and that. All, like, extremities yeah. and stuff. Um, yeah, the date team were like, oh, this is really special. Like, we, never, <laughs> we never get to do anything like this. I'm like, what? I'm on a boat on in a boat. lake. Um, but obviously, that like, health and safety, innit? Mm. Uh, so, that was yeah, it was good, that. It was good until it wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. You opened up and then, yeah. Yeah, we know what happened there. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah. It was a hard one. Yeah. It was a, it was a tough, yeah, tough argument. to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, we had, yeah. We had a bit it of It was an argument, argument, discussion, kind of argument. It, it kind of, you know what? That You know what's so weird about that? It kept on like flicking between discussion, argument. Just like, yeah, I think. It was like think... a more of a like, I'm telling you something, you're telling me something. We're telling each other. I was like, I, sit, I remember sitting on a Sunday thinking, I'm trying to listen. Yeah, because you got like, all stood there yeah, staring that's, at that's me, so watching awkward. it. Yeah, that's it was, so awkward. I was like, I can't look over there because literally the entire cast of All Stars is staring at me right now on the Sunday. <laughs> Everyone's watching. Um, but yeah, it was one of them where, like, obviously she was frustrated about the situation. Mm. Um, I felt like I'd hit, I'd hit a boundary. Um, she'd hit a boundary that I didn't uh, want hitting. Um, so for me, I was like, right, I'm kind of. I'm kind of quite cutthroat with stuff like that because I'm 33. You know, you know what? I, mean? what? Like, I just know I know what I will and won't accept type thing, and I think um, her she you know, not to be, not absolutely not invalidating what she was saying. She had a point. I apologised about the hand holding thing, and then like yeah, I think she. So I, I don't know. Like I don't like being sh- being shouted at, and she wasn't shouting really, like raising her voice and whatever. But like, I just thought, how are we going to resolve this if we're shouting at each other? Yeah. So I didn't. I just tried to keep it as calm as it could be. I remember yeah. the one thing you said to me, and I was like, you know what? I understand. Chris came to me that night and he was like, I'm not trying to learn the lessons that I've already learned. And I was yeah. like, yo, mm. because I keep learning lessons that I've already learned. You keep learning and over and over again meant in a bigger that way. Is such a silly, yeah. That's the thing. And it was actually, it was actually you know nothing, lessons, like, nothing against her. It's just the way. That 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 came through with the disingenuous thing. Yeah, I was just like, I'm. I've been here before where I put myself out there, 
and it's been yeah, you know, and, it, and it's been once you know it's done it's once come it's back done. at me yeah. and I'm like I'm not going to sit here and just go through the same thing again that I've been through before don't What's learn the, the lesson point? again why would you learn the lesson I've already learned the lesson <laughs> why would you learn and again? the universe is just going to keep you giving <laughs> giving you progressively worse lessons yeah, until you take the advice I agree yeah so I was just like no that's 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 it for me <laughs> yeah uh, on to on to other things so. I, I forgot that you and Sophie were at that moment like when she came in <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about that. I actually forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, oh. I, lo- I love Soph. She's yeah. great. Um, but I think, yeah, I didn't I didn't have much of a chance against Josh. They had they had the bedtime thing. Oh, yeah. That's, I, was, mm, I was just trying yeah. to do the day riz. Do what, <laughs> do what I could in the, in the day. Um, <laughs> day riz. Wasn't really getting anywhere with that. Um, yeah. But, yeah. And then I remember that argument with, or discussion, or whatever we're calling it, was on the day of a recoupling. Because that's, that's the day you went. Oh, the recoupling Kaz, was yeah. directly after it. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you directly after that you went, and then you went Kaz, and then that's when I went Arabella. Yeah. Yeah. And it probably looked quite. I don't know. It must, it must, I haven't well, seen it. But after that, you can't. You yeah, can't go back I've into said, the club. It don't yeah, make sense. I couldn't. I couldn't have done it. I don't but, think anyone anyone disagreed with that. I don't think. Yeah, I think after that conversation, it was just like the, the timing of it was well awful for me, but excellent for the show. Which it always is because we're not well, in control of the, the timing. I, I think um, I honestly say I say it all the time. I think the timing is obviously they they know what they're doing. Yeah, they do. They know <laughs> they where it, certain people you. are going. Yeah, they, ah! you, mate. <laughs> they know. They know how to get the best drama yeah, with the timings that they give. Yeah. Hundred percent, but it's a TV show at the end. So yeah, they're, that, yeah, they're like, have you, did you see Hunger Games and they they, they, they have the games masters. Yeah, they've yeah. got people in a room that, that are going, okay, like with the chessboard. Yeah, yeah. let's move that over there. It's Three coupling, there. please. Make yeah, Katniss, everything go close to the group. Yeah, no, number one and number twos. Exactly like that. But obviously, after that point in time, like I couldn't go back. Yeah, um, I, you know, we said it but was over. Lessons learned, isn't it? Lesson um, and then I had to recouple couple with again. with Kaz. Yeah, friendship couple, which, which was lovely. That's I remember. That's when I feel we like we the trio whisper started. nothing into each other's ears. The trio, the trio started. Yeah, that's where it began. Tight. That's where it began. Tight yeah. there. That's when we started really getting in the roots. Yeah. But then after that, the drama didn't stop because then I roped you into my drama. Yeah, I got Come pulled in, in, didn't I? Yeah, like I didn't have enough of my own stuff going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chris. Um, what can I say? All I can say is, Chris. Thank you so much for being there for me, man. <laughs> You're welcome, Thank mate. Thank you so much for being there. Because you know no what? No problem, mate. If we're looking at the whole timeline, I remember have being in a couple with Arabella, I remember chatting to you and Kaz and saying, yo, look. No, in fact, let's take it all the way back. Just left Georgia. Yeah. Yeah? We, we weren't on speaking terms. Yeah. We was in the kitchen. Yeah, I, did, yeah, yeah. I remember I this. I remember this. <laughs> in the kitchen. Yeah. I... I was, I don't know, I was speaking to George or something. It's like the first time we've spoken, like four days. You were like bantering each other, like really yeah. pathetic banter. No, she was bantering me crazy, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was then like Chris was like, Playgrounds talk. <laughs> Playgrounds. Chris looked at me like this. You guys are getting back to, you guys are getting back to yeah, You see it a mile off. <laughs> you see, it was only a temporary oh, thing. God, I remember. And then, um, yeah, I remember chatting to you and Kaz on the, on the terrace and like, that's when timing comes into play again. You guys were like, look, you have to do it this way, this way, this way. Yeah, like, yeah. you had a game plan. You had like a full like, like right, okay, I'm going to cool. speak to this person. You were like, you were going to speak. If to I'm going to do this, I was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to speak to this person. This yeah, person. it was like, I'm going to speak to Callum. I'm yeah. going to speak to Arabella. And then mm-hmm. I'm going to speak to Georgia. Yeah. You figured the order out and everything. Yeah. And then, <laughs> I'm going to text. <laughs> Recoupling. Recoupling. Yeah. Because they didn't want you to do it the nice way. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just so sad. But anyway, uh, I've always fought back as well. And I was like, there's, uh, I want to say there's part of me that wants to say that maybe I should have just done like a couple up with Arabella, spoke to her after the recap and be like, look, I'm going to. They, they, they just wouldn't have allowed that, mate. You know, <laughs> you know, they wouldn't have, that would have not flown. Mate, it's this. They they would have come over to Tannoy and gone elaborate. <laughs> More like elaborate. Get out of the villa. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I think uh, the, I think an exec might have come in and. Uh, I, I don't know. I think they just knew my feelings the way I was chatting to you guys, and they knew I was gonna flip, and they were like, 
give them a recoupling now. Yeah, yeah, This yeah, is yeah. the time we can get something. Yeah, 100%. And they knew. And they got it. They they did. Fortune favours the brave. Fortune favours the brave. I got it from you, Chris. The ring. The ring. The fortune favours the brave ring. It all come from Chris. I remember chatting to him. I don't blame me for it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it was all Chris. It was, it was your decision. It was Chris. Um, I simply gave you the phrase, fortune favours the brave. <laughs> you did the rest. Remember I sitting there in the fire pit. You didn't even have a clue I was going to do it. Wait, you knew kind I of. I had a I, feeling, yeah. yeah. But not like 100%. Actually, no. Uh, you you looked like you were in absolute turmoil. Yeah. Oh, you looked no. like you were in a bad place. Like, I, could, I couldn't even catch your eye. I was. I was in such a bad place. Even the aftermath of it all. Oh, it was so bad, man. Bro, it was so bad, didn't it? Like, I don't think anybody, like, maybe I haven't seen it back. I've watched the unseen bits, but I haven't seen... I can't watch the main thing I back just because of the pure like level of cringe of it. But, um, like, it must have looked intense, but it was, like... Very intense. 10,000 times. Remember the day after looked. when we had Boys Day? And the girls yeah. went out. I don't know if I was there, The bro. girls went out. Remember, we had the... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was bad. That was... That was bad. Because basically, what had happened was... <clears throat> I, think... I didn't even know you was having chats no. on my behalf. No, because you were... Until we Did went up. Know? Until we went up. Oh, until I told you afterwards. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, if they want to chat, then why don't you just chat to me? Yeah, you know I don't what know. Like, I don't even know. I felt like you was getting grilled for my doing... Yeah. <laughs> Because they knew that you was going to obviously back me. Do you know how it came it about, though? It, se it segued so, like, quickly from something that was seemingly quite nice, right? So you're on the terrace or whatever. There's a lizard in the pool. Um, uh, what, did, what did I call him again now? Uh, L L L Leonard. <laughs> so I saved this lizard from the pool that was, like, mm. cold and dying and that. And I, like, I I've got him on me and he's, like, running around. He's, like, stayed with me I think he thought I was his mum so I was like this is lit I've got like a pet lizard called Leonard and then all I'm on the day I'm on the the uh, sunbeds in the middle and then all of a sudden like all the other lads are, are like sat there and I've still got this lizard on me and they start having a serious chat about your stuff yeah and I'm like Leonard what's going on <laughs> that's all I cared about and then yeah they start saying like, oh yeah we just want to understand Gosh. like what's what was going on from like Toby's perspective there and I'm just like well no such thing as right or wrong, is there? It's just the consequences of your actions. It's like, so boys, like he's doing uh, what we're all here to do. How can you begrudge him no, for that? Bad. And let's be honest, like if you hadn't done it, it wouldn't be that great to watch anyway. This is the thing. Sometimes, like people are watching a TV show. If you, if people didn't do certain things, it'd be a very boring TV show to watch. You're not wrong. To be fair, you are not wrong. To be fair, at the end of the day, you're not wrong. I don't think I'm yeah. wrong. No, no, because I always think about it, and I was like. Oh man, like it's just so like, bro. That whole aftermath, that day after was crazy, bro. Mm. Like crazy. Yeah. Like never experienced anything like it. Yeah, I felt like some of the boys. Like, if you wasn't there, I would have well, got some stones, put them into my <laughs> like socks, and jumped in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been my only option. It would have had to be my only option. Bloody hell! Oh, Bits of beer. But yeah. Um, Oh. Yeah, man, giving himself cement shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Had to. Had to. Man. Had a bad day, guys. Oh. In that pool that was only a metre deep. <laughs> yeah. I would have just have to crouch. <laughs> crouch at the bottom like this. <laughs> but, yeah, um, no. <laughs> you can drown in a, in a one-inch puddle. Can you? Yeah, you can. You yeah, can drown if, in a one-inch puddle. Yeah. How? You can drown in a one-inch puddle. It's a fact. You can... <laughs> yeah. As soon as water covers your nose and mouth, you're done. One wow. inch, like that. That's an interesting yeah. factoid. But um, yeah, eventually it blew over. Yeah. Everyone started now. Whatever. Get yeah. back into it. Yeah, <laughs> no, we had, I think we had we had a didn't we have a chat after that like that aired everything out? Or was that? No, that was after the PDAs. Oh yeah, so it was a bit we, later. Yeah, it was a bit later. A bit oh, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PDAs, we had a big chat and just clear it out. Um. But yeah, after all of that, it was quite calm and chilled until Joanna come in. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it was? Like, it was quite calm and chill most of the days. Yeah, it was. But it was just no, it was... ridiculous on the nights. Yeah. Days were chilled, nights were drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. Always. Someone would have drama about something. But the next day, everyone would wake up and be like, all right, sound. Yeah. A bit weird. Let's do it again. Funny, though. Yeah. It was just weird. Super Very weird. weird. Maybe that's what happens when people have done it before. Yeah. No, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, sorry, you were saying. Yeah, Joanna comes in. Joanna walks and in. And you're like, yeah, that's a bit of me. Yeah. That's a bit of me, that. Yeah. You got a new... New fo- new lease on life. Yeah. New new focus and that. Yeah. Um, so I, want, what, I wanted us to come in. Yeah. Well, that was that was one of your top ones. To be yeah. fair, she's a top one for, ev- for a lot of people in the world. Very attractive girl. Yeah. So I feel like when people talk about love and they really... The world. They, they, they talk about Joanna a lot, to be fair. I know a lot of fr- my friends are like, oh, yeah, Joanna, Joanna, Joanna. Like, yeah. Okay, like, no, man. Calm down, lads. But uh, yeah, um, you know what was a big point for you and Joanna? Um, I skipped a lot, but that grilling game. Yeah, it was horrendous, mate. Yeah. That was so bad. That was a bad night. It just went so, it just went so... <laughs> It's just so yeah, much. Yeah, go straight into the thick, and, straight into the thick of it. So much going on. It was straight like into the thick of it. I don't think they even seen like the extent to how bad that was because they only must have shown like a couple of bits from a couple of rounds. But it yeah. went on for twelve rounds. Didn't yeah, it? it was twelve it was rounds. Twelve rounds of and just every, pure... every single thing was was mine and Joanna's name, and it wasn't even anything really, bad. It wasn't really focused at me because like, <laughs> yeah. it was more just sort of like because Joanna had started speaking to Callum. <laughs> that was so bad as well. So it was bad. Like, it was like I'm not saying it's about Chris. But I'm saying about Joanna. Yeah. And just, That's I'm not what, saying about Chris. Yeah. I'm saying about Joanna. All yeah, the explanations yeah. were kind of always, a bit like always, that, weren't like that. it? It's better when you take it as a pair. Yeah. When you take it singular That's, in a pair and they kind of like saying, oh, your pair's fine, but you're the problem. <laughs> That's that's the worst thing. Yeah. But I didn't really understand it because I always thought that like, cool, Joanna come in later than everyone else just because everyone else has now found their feet. Yeah. It's a bit weird that everyone's now, like, I don't want to say picking, but like. Well, it was semi hypocritical, weren't it? Because, because everyone's had a problem. In everyone there, like, was picking on Joanna for the same thing that everybody's had to do in there. Well, not is, even not even same pe- thing that you had to do in it. It's what we're here to do. Yeah, no, and that, and that. Yeah, it's Love Island. I yeah. think every single season there's been 10, 11 now. Yeah. It's like everyone has to go and find yeah. the like. Yeah, that person. This is the script. How do we not know the script yet? <laughs> people are shocked when yeah. people are, want to know other people. Yeah, and it's also like we had it was it was very sort of open conversation that we had about it. It's like, uh, and I said like, fine, do your thing. Like, I, said, I said that before she even started chatting to anyone else. I said, listen, I'm aware that I'm further through this process than you are. You need to chat to other people. Yeah, because also like I don't want to leave here with somebody that hasn't fully done the experience, and she wanted to do that anyway. Yeah, so it was absolutely all fine. But obviously, because not everybody knew that information, mm. they just, I think, to be honest, they, it was just an, e- it was an easy option. We were just the easy option. Oh, yeah. Right? Because oh, yeah. there was a lot of other easy. people in there that should have fit into categories a lot better than, yeah. than we did. I agree. But they, they, she just picked us because it was easier and it became a trend. Yeah. It, it, went, it like, went viral around the fire pit. You're just like, oh, this is a hard question. Yeah. Ah, Chris, Chris and Joanna. Joanna. Yeah, yeah. You did it once. No, I think, that, I think that was one. It was and one-sided. I, and, I, and I thought, fair enough. It's, it, you know what? We was like, okay, cool. I, was like, I said to Georgia, I was like, look, love everyone. Not everyone. But love people around this fire pit. We have to play this game properly. We can't cop out. Yeah. And then it's yeah, okay, cool. And then it got to like the the most one-sided couple. And I was thinking, oh, looking around. I think oh, I have to. Yeah, no, I yeah. Think yeah. I was, Chris and Joanna have yeah, to put down do because like, I don't want to say because of recent events, but in this current climate yeah yeah but yeah. i was like yeah okay cool but had to be done mate. i remember stuff like sexual chemistry and stuff i was like oh yeah. gosh, I was like, you guys are getting hit at that and i was like that's that's a bit sad but yeah you know what the funny thing about that night was i thought i think i I said to a few of the boys i don't remember if you were there or not but i said to a few of the boys i was like g steel has been getting absolutely like battered lately mm. so i was like lads like if people start going at g steel we've got to step in and stop it because mm. it's going too far. Um, and then I just got battered all night. <laughs> so they were like, oh yeah, you, oh, you want to, you want to change from D-Steel? Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. We'll give it to Joanna. Yeah, give it to Joanna <laughs> instead. Yeah. That's so bad. Yeah. But yeah, oh. it, was a, it was a tough one. Then obviously she left. So it was a, it was a pretty, that night, innit? pretty tough day. Yeah. I remember, the, I remember the whole um, voting process. It was mad. It was, there was so much conflict in that voting process. Mm. Obviously you wouldn't know you was, you was in the vote, but they, yeah, it was mad. I it worked was, that out afterwards. There was a lot of people with best mates there. So it was a lot of people. That's the thing with all stars. That's the thing with all stars. Like once your best mates are in there, it's like you. It's like best mates from the outside, isn't it? Yeah, best mates made in there. It's like pre-existing relationship. Yeah, true. But to be fair, uh, 
that's the thing where it's like, what, like this, this is not even about the people in there because you have your loyalties to people on like the outside and even in there, but it's like comes to like higher up, like because you've been put in that scenario, you knew like surely they knew that like you're not gonna vote for your best friend. Like yeah, because how can you? Exactly. How can you how possibly much, say, "Oh yeah, by the way, you? I'm sending home my best friend." Yeah, uh, best friend. I just don't think like you're, <laughs> you're doing the doing Love Island right. Yeah. Like you can't say that. Like, That's what I'm saying. They were in as difficult a position as everybody else. I will say, yeah, the people that were made because obviously they were put in a position where they had to defend their best friends regardless of how well they were doing. Love yeah. Island. and I don't know what the criteria was for like who was going out. No. So it it was shit for everyone. Basically. It was. It was so what, bad. You, exactly. So what are you gonna do? You're not. You're not. We like, shouldn't be putting. That, I don't Tom think. Tom was never gonna vote position. for Kesa. Shouldn't have been put in that position. They shouldn't have been put in that position. So yeah. Tom was never gonna go, vote for Kesa. I was never gonna vote for you. Well, like exactly. It's just like yeah. I I don't know, but I I was I saw it also as like if Joanna went, then like you're a sitting duck because you yeah. Have nothing, what am I gonna do? You, you might as well just go. Start again. You might you, then start so, again when there's no well, more bomb shows coming. <laughs> start exactly. again where? Well, that was the thing. I was like, right, it's nine days from the end, and um, no one's coming I'm on, in. I'm on day one, and I've achieved nothing. So I was yeah. like, oh, you may as well just. I was like, get me out. Uh, that's what I said. I was like, look, if Joanna goes, that's the only thing. Chris has, Chris has said to all of us, he has now found that person that he's ready to like get to know. Done. Yeah, get to know like. She go chat, but he's he's found the person he wants to get to know towards the end of this process, and vote her off. Then like what? Chris is done. Yeah. yeah, and then really and truly, that night, I remember chatting to you. I was thinking, yeah, Chris is done. And then yeah, the next I was, day, I was just doing them like, on every sense of the word, like stick a fork in there. I was I was just done, mate. Because if we kind of look at it, your journey, it was actually kind of tough. Mate, well, it was. Not even actually. It, it was. was tough. And I never moaned about the journey <laughs> once. I never went, oh, my journey. Yeah. I never talked about yeah. it like that. Like, it was tough. It was, it was it hard. It was tough. But I just did it. Before I went in, I lived with, lived with Cam, mm. Holmes, in it. And he said to me, he was like, promise me, you will just do it like fully authentically yourself. And I was like, fucking right. Because there's no other way to do it. Yeah, facts. And I did that. And I, I moved on what I would do on the outside. Yeah. And there was, there was uncertainty at times. There was conversations that got heated. Mm. You know, all this kind of stuff that happened. That's life though. But that is life. That is is genuine, genuine life. It is life. Um, And obviously, obviously there's stuff that's been shown in a certain way, which isn't necessarily reflective of how (laughs) it went down, as we all know. Um, But yeah, like I can't begrudge what I did in there because it was literally everything that I would do in normal, real life. In, and in every sense of the word. And you know that. Yeah. we're mates now. Yeah. <laughs> we're mate, well, we're yeah, but you know me on the outside as well as the inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So that even just takes out this next question of, would you change anything? No. no. I don't know how, I don't know physically how I would have changed yeah. anything. Like what, how could I have done anything different when I was literally just acting how I normally would? I agree. And that is, I right. think that's the best answer to that question yeah. when people do say, because people do say it all the time. Oh, what would you have changed if you, if you went back? Nothing. Because you yourself, the, like you reacted the way you reacted. You've dealt with situations the way yeah. you deal with situations. Yeah. You've gone to the person that you want to go to. So if you haven't done that, then you... What, like, what are you doing? You've, you've been someone else. You yeah, changed, you've been someone yeah. else. Because this is, this is actually changing. like a deeper thing yeah. about life as well. Yeah. Like say for instance, you're getting to know a girl and or a boy and you do something and then you're like, oh shit, if I hadn't done that, that wouldn't have happened and then she wouldn't have broke up with me or whatever mm. else. It's like, but you can't think like that because you if, you, if you were being yourself by doing that, and sh- and that other person, girl yeah. or boy, doesn't like it. You, they're not, not in your. They don't need to be in your life. You're not meant to be. There. You're not meant to be. Yeah, exactly. You are not compatible. If you're, you're having to think about yeah. how you're doing things. Yeah, I agree. Like that's in your real in like day to day life. Yeah, you're gonna end up um, in a situation that you shouldn't be in. Yeah, like you're going against the universe that way. So you can't. You're you, forcing you can't it. Hold back. You're forcing it. You're forcing it down a path that you shouldn't be going down. Yeah. So like that's the that's the way I approached it. Remember we used to do an- and I have anecdotes. no regrets, huh? And analogies, analogies, anecdotes. A lot of analogies. Yeah. So you yeah. got a path there that you, the universe giving you, but you're whacking the bushes. 
You're walking yeah, the bush yeah, on the yeah. right side. You got a machete you whacking, whacking the bushes for? What are you doing? The that? path is literally there. <laughs> yeah, you're going through the thick overgrowth when you could just be walking Honestly, down a, a nice Just be yourself. Little. But that's like that is the whole point of life. Yeah. Just being so, yourself and seeing what happens. And then, then you end up surrounding yourself with the right people. Yeah. In every sense. Yeah. And then you can be your full self. Yeah. Your, like, and, and you know what? You know what's good as well? Being yourself means you're not going to get drained because yeah. you're not being, you're not putting energy to place that you don't no, need to pretend to be, to. to be someone else. Yeah. Which, Which takes a lot of energy. Energy. Yeah. Energy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I worked myth. in sales for like five years, mate. I had to change my personality with every person I spoke yeah, I to. Absolutely knackering. Could you sell? Are you still good at sales? No. Nah. Oh, no. <laughs> I never was, mate. <laughs> I was never very good at it. What, what are you saying now? Like after the villa, after All Stars, what's your vibe now? What's your, what's your plans? Oh, so that's a really hard question, mate. Okay, let's start. What is your status? Your, are you single? Oh yeah, I'm si- I am single. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, me and Joanna, have, uh, we're just friends. Yeah. Um, okay. Since since we left the villa, we yeah. thought let's keep it platonic. There's a lot of out out outer world complications there. Yeah. Um, and life gets in the way, doesn't it? Life. life That's the thing. I feel like everyone gets really busy when they come out. They're doing loads of yeah. stuff, and it's just uh, hard to find time. If you're in that bubble forever, brilliant. Yeah. If it was if it was a chance, you could be in that bubble, that Love Island bubble forever and you have no factors on the outside world, yeah. then a lot of people would, I think a lot of people would be together. Well, I imagine, for an analogy, right? I imagine what it's like, it, Love Island is what it's like if you get sent to Mars to colonise. Yeah. So like, say like 30 people get sent up there, they've got to build little, mm. I don't know, like houses and that, and they've got to like repopulate Mars. Yeah. That's what Love Island's You've like. You've only got for, 29 for like, other people for, for in like, there yeah. with you. So you better just choose your 29 people mm. because it's either 29 people or no one. Yeah. But then when you come back from Mars... Back to Earth. To Earth, you're like, oh, wow, there's literally 5.5 billion people here. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do know what you're saying, yeah. And there's lots going on. You get your phone back and all that kind of stuff. So. I feel like that as well. Like, even, like, the facts of life is crazy. Like, what you have to do in Love Island is you have to think about your feelings. You have to think about... Your thoughts, your relationships, all of that. Mm. When you get home, you have to think about all of that. Oh, you can avoid it. (laughs) Yeah, you can avoid it, one. And you have to think about all of that, plus your daily lives, your career, your jobs. um, What are you going to do tomorrow? Waking up, all of that, going to sleep, events. Yeah, you're like so when you're in the village, your life your life is fully run by other people. Yeah. In terms of like waking up, going to sleep, when you're eating. It, pretty much everything is taken care of. All mm-hmm. you, you haven't got your phone. All you've got to do is focus on getting to know people. When you come out, there's, like you say, there's so many factors. Yeah. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of factors. And that just, like, to make something work, it takes, um, I suppose, like, equal input from both sides, doesn't it? So, like... I feel like you have to work extra hard. Yeah. You have to work... Because, you're, yeah, you're not used to the environment. Yeah. You have to work extra hard to actually do it, I yeah. think. So, single. Yeah. AF. Um, focusing on myself, though... To be honest, that was quite a tumultuous experience being in Love Island. Tumultuous means Tum- in turmoil. Oh, tumultuous. I'm sure tumultuous. I told you about this. Word, no, you haven't told me this. One of my faves. Um, so I think I'm just going to take some time to. How much trash? I'm going to take some time to sort my 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 shits out. I've been reading a lot. Oh. <laughs> really, I read now. Reading. I read books now. Um, but yeah, like t- more TV. There's some yeah. interesting things on the horizon, which you told me not Woo-hoo! to tell anyone about. Don't. I'm don't. Not going to. You can't tell people about it because it's evil eye. Yeah. Oh, I had a meeting at ITV and they were talking about season two for uh, <laughs> season two of All Stars. And Mike looked at me and went, and I went, <laughs> <laughs> I went, no chance, mate. Absolutely no chance. I'm done. I'm retired now. I'm 33. Is, no that a, is that an official statement? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. There's I nothing wouldn't. that could can bring you mate, back. I couldn't do it again. I gave <laughs> everything I had to that. I've got nothing left. And I literally feel like Ian Bill now, yeah. Um, so no, no more no more Love Island for me. But yeah, there's other exciting stuff happening. Very exciting stuff in different areas. So Well, that is brilliant. Thanks, mate. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. Yeah. And we have the perfect guest, Chris Taylor. Thank you so much, Christopher. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, handshakes.
<laughs> no that context is... to the head whip whatsoever. Just yeah, doing it. they don't know. But yeah, that's our thing. We guys, we'll see you soon. Bye.